Hey, what's up everyone? This is Wicked Android HD and this midnight because it, as you may see it's already 12 a.m. 12 and a half a.m. I'm gonna be showing you how to connect your Android to a modem, to an external modem in order to browse the internet by using in by using uh, the mobile data uh, from uh, a modem. Um, if you if you watched all my videos, you would already know that I have made a previous video about this, how to do this, previous tutorial, but that wasn't uh, recorded with such a great HD quality as I'm doing right now, so that's why I decided to make it again in order to show you how uh, fast and how stable it is to connect to such a proper, such a proper network. So. What uh, do you need? Um, let me connect to my Wi-Fi network first, and uh, just to lighten up the modem. This is a, a mobile a modem, so it uh, ensures a mobile connection between this device and uh, a SIM card which is located inside this modem. So this is a DG Net Mobile modem. It is a 3G modem. I don't know if you can see, but uh, benefits of uh, 21 megabits per second speed like this it's better and of course you'll need a, a an OTG cable um, this is the one from uh, HAMA it's not a well known company but uh, it's doing its job perfectly so with uh, these uh, this uh, perfect connected right here all you need to do, let me focus a little bit, is to go into Play Store and then search for, as you may see here, I have already searched for it, PPP widget. And you will need to download the first version, like PPP, the first version that uh, appears here, the latest version actually, it's PPP widget 2. This is the application, as you may see. And after you download this, all you need to do is to um, put the widget, put up the application's widget on uh, the home screen. I'm going to show you right now. This is the widget, PPP widget 2. And uh, it will ask for root. So you will need root access in order to use this application and in order to browse the internet by using this uh, modem. You will need root access. If you don't know how to root your device, um, just search up Google how to root your Android device, it's a very simple way, it won't cost you anything, it's fast and it's worth it. So, well, uh, after you root your device and download this application, put, your, put it on your home screen, and then as you may see it says, no modem found. So, it, that uh, is because you haven't connected your modem to your device yet, but you may see a status like setup modem. Um, at stage, you only need to wait for about five to ten minutes because uh, even it's not even if it's not connected, the modem is not connected. It will scan for about five to ten minutes if there is any modem on any port of this device. And afterwards, you should get this message. If you don't, just reboot your device and you'll be You'll, you'll find this uh, message right here, no more than found without a problem. So, um, let's connect the, the OTG cable along with the modem. Let me, so, as you may see here, this is the modem and I'll be connecting, sorry for the bad lighting. I will connect this, so let's, it's, it's just better, yeah, it looks better. Great idea with this flashing support for, of Samsung. So, this is the OTG cable, and I will be connecting this to my phone. And right now, you will see that uh, this is going to be flashing, as you may see, and it says prepare device. So, right now it's preparing the device in order to use, as you may see, sorry, let's disconnect it for this moment. As you may see it says now disconnected and oh, oh and uh, 
these two buttons right here down below shows connect and configure. First of all, as you may see, disable it uh, has al already disabled the Wi-Fi, but uh, just to show that it it is actually working and I'm not faking this video. Uh, the Wi-Fi will be disabled when I connect to the modem. So first of all, you'll need to get. Uh, let me dim the brightness a little bit just to show you and, uh, how clear it comes to your screen, but. I'll try my best because it's a very bright screen and you know it's night time and yeah. Uh, edit current SIM profile. Yes, you'll need to set up a name. Random name, no, no. Yeah, I have. Why it is? It is uh, automatically connecting to the network. I don't know why. If I set up, let's. Let, yes, auto start connection. I, I checked this by default. So, edit current SIM profile so uh, you should know your APN of your provider your mobile provider so your for example my APN is internet so the APN for DG mobile is internet and the, the, if you have a username or a password you should keep it here and of course the dialing string for my provider is uh, star 990s yes. but uh, yeah this uh, may vary depending on your provider, so a pin code uh, optional, which is optional. So after you've done that, you have here some um, some um, options in order to connect to your uh, modem. Auto start connection. Uh, it will automatically connect to your modem if it uh, if you connect the modem to your Galaxy S4 or your Android device automatic reconnection if the connection drops for example you run out of sing signal and uh, other things that you don't want to mess with so after you've done that as you see it says again disconnected all you have to do is to click connect dialing out building network and it will ask something about a VPN a Viper um, virtual private network in order to connect and as you may see it says connected right now and the Wi-Fi icon appears there and also on my uh, transparent widget here and as you you can see here it says VPN is activated by PPP widget 2 which means vi uh, virtual private connection connected to PPP widget and uh, you will receive some um, notifications about your data usage you know to show that this is currently working and I'll be browsing a Wi-Fi on a YouTube video of mine of course of course YouTube is opening very very hard because uh, it's very optimized by Google <laughs> and uh, let's uh, for example browse uh, my previous video about how to connect your modem to your Android device and as you may see is the first video here uh, if you can clearly see but yeah, this is the first one. 90k views. Thank you guys for all these views, all those views. So as you may see, it is working perfectly. The connection is working perfectly without a problem. And uh, just to show you that everything is working perfectly, you will be able to see that uh, I have received almost two megabytes and uh, sent. 0.11 megabytes so this is working perfectly and uh, be be aware that uh, this thing may might may get hot here it is running on 3g right now because it has a blue icon here blue led led and um, it may be a ram hog i have accidentally disconnected it but not such a big deal that's how you do it just click disconnect and it will get out of your network um so what was uh about to say um so you won't need uh, anything apart from this the application routing access application ppv widget the otg cable which cost me all, uh, uh, around let me think maybe 15 dollars but you can find it i re i recommend it to buy a very good quality one because um not every LTG will support this kind of power from uh, for powering the modem. 
the modem is uh, in memory uh, a battery hog so it will consume uh, like it uh, like your phone will be connected to a 3G network so don't expect that uh, it will uh, consume as it uh, would be on a Wi-Fi network for example so that was it for today guys I hope you like it if you did please thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel um, thanks for watching guys again week Android is out bye bye